Haunted Mound are the Witch House rap group building a reputation and making a name for themselves in music today. With Cemetery leading the pack, the group seems to be growing and growing. Haunted Mound only seem to be going up, constantly selling out merch and even arranging a live show that at the time of writing has been postponed because of COVID, but it will still go on at some point. What's more, Hackle, Turnabout and Buckshot now all have their own solo projects released, with Buckshot's most credited producer being Oscar18 also joining Haunted Mound. But this group wasn't always so well populated. In fact, at the start of their musical career, Haunted Mound was composed of two members, Cemetery and Ghost Mountain. Their relationship far precedes their music, however, as it's well documented that they were high school best friends with Cemetery presenting the idea of music to Ghost Mountain and then starting the now well-established Haunted Mound. The duo worked together on two collaborative albums, being Gravehouse and The Hundred Acre Wrist, both being made alongside Cemetery's solo projects, Rainbow Bridge 1, Rainbow Bridge 2, and Rainbow Bridge 3, with Gravehouse proving very popular with the audience and seeing the duo work together, establishing their dynamic. But this was relatively short-lived as Ghost Mountain began to distance himself from music. Starting in late 2020, it seemed that Ghost Mountain felt he needed to distance himself from the music, with his solo album never actually seeing a release, only leaving behind one single, Coil. This distancing became a full-blown retirement in May of 2021 when Ghost Mountain officially left Haunted Mount. But if the music was getting popular and he had a solo project on the way, why would he do this? There seemed to be a group of fans who believed the pair were simply better together as a duo, a sentiment shared by this defamatory college newspaper article I saw in the miscellany news, Rapper Cemetery Fails to Satisfy with Mixtape Screaming Forest. While this article is critical and, in all honesty, worthless to us since it's an opinion piece, the comments reflect the staying power of Cemetery, as most people label the author a hater. The comments on the music videos still on Cemetery's YouTube channel sometimes share the same sentiment, however, as the music changed quite a lot when the dynamic between Cemetery and Ghost Mountain was no more. The fans were confused by his exit from the group, but what was more confusing for the fans was when Cemetery removed Gravehouse and Hundred Acre Wrist from all streaming services. One fan took it upon himself to DM Cemetery in hopes of finding answers. The fan wrote, Please stop gatekeeping yourself, I want to see you blow up. I literally just took down one tape from Spotify, y'all are ridiculous. Nevada is a genius masterpiece, one of the most accessible and popular cemetery songs. Plain deleted? Ghost Mountain quit. The songs are worthless, they are also literally still available. Why worthless? I can't perform them live or anything. I know, it's just you have to go out of your way to see. Yeah, that's the idea. Not trying to give someone who quit music fame, taking up space on my page, and y'all are spoiled. I don't even use Spotify, lol. This conversation ended with Cemetery explaining that he had more people, more rappers, more producers coming to join Haunted Mound. And Cemetery seems to have a point here, wanting his music to progress to real shows like the upcoming Masquerilla show. And Masquerilla, for those of you who don't know, are also management of Haunted Mound now since they recently took over that position. But that still doesn't tell us the reason why Ghost Mountain left, with the generally accepted explanation being that he went to college and didn't have time for music anymore. This explanation became more clear when Cemetery and Hackle went on the Masquerilla podcast, where Cemetery claims he was just into more regular life stuff, but Cemetery was completely dedicated to the music, even going on to explain that he knew he was good, a sentiment shared by the audience, and claiming to have encouraged Ghost Mountain, but Ghost Mountain just wasn't pulling his weight. Cemetery says it best himself in this clip. Uh, he was just into more regular life stuff, and I'm only about this ever so i knew he was hella good so i was like bro you should really do this bro you're gonna be really big bro like it's super fire when you do it yada yada, yada. and he like kept coming to the studio with no lyrics written or nothing and didn't show up for videos hella flaky and yeah that just led to tensions when one person's really into it and the other yeah. one's like it's a hobby so this has also been an entirely music-focused conversation with the reason for Ghost Mountain's departure being explained by Cemetery and the reason the music was removed, but it's clear to anyone who's seen the DMs that Cemetery was at least somewhat annoyed about Ghost Mountain's departure. If they were friends, why would he claim he wasn't trying to give someone who quit music fame? This was also explained on the podcast with Cemetery claiming that they aren't actually friends anymore. Are you still friends? Do you talk at all? No. It's just he had over. Some, he had some mean things to say about us, probably because he's sore he ain't here with us. 
the phrasing of having not nice things to say about them since he was sure he wasn't a part of the music seems obscure since the Ghost Mountain persona has been wiped from the internet largely and there isn't any music available outside of bootlegs on YouTube. So what this was referring to is confusing to most fans but there is one piece of information we haven't looked at yet. Until now, it seemed that Ghost Mountain was simply ungrateful for the opportunity and left the group to go to college since he didn't see a future in music. All this information came from Cemetery himself, but what does the man behind the Ghost Mountain persona think? Around three months ago, a fan who had DM'd the original person posted DMs from Ghost Mountain in the Haunted Mound subreddit, where Ghost Mountain seems to want nothing to do with the Ghost Mountain persona or Haunted Mound. He says some pretty inflammatory stuff about Cemetery himself and how he'll never return. This caused a huge reaction in the community, obviously, to the point where Buckshot, a member of Haunted Mound, had to step in to address the situation in this post. Addressing f- all right, need to address this absolute fuckery OP has caused within our fan base and community in the last few hours. Do know I may not word this as formally as I want given the urgency of the situation that has arisen. I'm in a unique position to address the storm as I'm the only member who's been in Haunted Mound from early on with both Ghost and Sem. So I have the third person perspective of all of this. Since I've been working with Cemetery and also Ghost since they had about 700 followers on Instagram in very early 2020, I have pretty much seen their friendship deteriorate throughout the projects. I will start by saying the DMs posted by the OP from Ghost are real and from Ghost, but from five months ago in January. Ghost did not give permission for them to be posted, least of all today. Sharing them was incredibly inappropriate and a huge disrespect to the confidentiality towards a very private person. I did reach out to Ghost last summer 2021 to check on what's up with him, and he held the same point of views and reasonings as he did in the DMs which had been posted. Ghost has changed his perspective in recent months after that DM conversation and has been in consistent contact with Cemetery and amends have been made since. They are on good terms, but this does not mean anything related to music. Note the DMs have been held by the OP since January. To say Ghost approved of anything is a deliberate and malicious lie. This does not mean Ghost will return, however. Apologies have been exchanged. Closure has been reached, and Ghost has told Cemetery personally that his opinions and views have changed, and his initial perspective may have been informed by other influences. Ghost no longer feels as strongly as the way he does in the private DMs posted on Reddit, and Ghost and Cemetery have been in contact with each other since early 2022. I'm using as much discretion as I possibly can because I don't want either Cemetery or Ghost to feel uncomfortable as a result of my post, but I can say for a fact that Ghost has engaged with the newer mixtape and single bleed a river and is given constructive comments and general feedback. Buck seems to be in the perfect position to mediate, as if Cemetery and Ghost Mountain aren't friends outside of music, it's going to be near impossible for them to remain impartial when talking about the music itself, and Buck acting as a mediator provides some much needed clarity to the whole situation. Cemetery and Ghost Mountain drifted as friends and as artists, and Ghost Mountain held some opinions that have since changed. Does this mean he'll return to Haunted Mound? Well, anything past that is purely speculation. While I'm sure the fans would welcome a return, Haunted Mound is a much bigger operation, and whether that's something Ghost Mountain or even Haunted Mound would want is something we as fans don't know and aren't entitled to know. Thankfully, we know that at the very least, the pair are in contact again and have made amends. And even if that is as far as it goes, that is a net positive for the people behind the acts.